We're at Lone Star Reptiles here in Texas, right outside of Arlington. We're at the Arlington show this weekend, so we came out and we're gonna check out some stuff. This is Marita from the Deadly Tarantula Girl. If you guys aren't subscribed to her channel, you should be. So we're gonna hold some stuff, play with some stuff, so stay tuned. So I'm here with Earl Jones, Lone Star, and this is a Coatamunda, Coatamundo. Coatamundi. Coatamundi. That was not what I, I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> it, but uh, super cool. I hear he's super nice unless he's eating, and hopefully my hand doesn't look like a rat, but he is very soft. I, it's exciting. Oh, look at that camera. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good boy. Better looking than you, man. He, he's he's a, a little he's bit. He's an awesome little guy. Yeah. Uh, we we brought him home. He was about three weeks old. We got mm -hmm. him from a, a petting zoo. Yeah. Uh, we got him from the East Texas Zoo and Gator Park. Uh, he bit a little girl in their petting area. I'm not a and, little girl, so that works out. <laughs> and once they bite, they can no longer be used in the yeah. zoos. So uh, they were talking about either getting rid of him or putting him down. And yeah. I told him I'd take him and I brought him home. So don't take that off. I need that. <laughs> he's been an awesome little little creature. That's awesome. Now he's cool. What, buddy? I know it. <laughs> I know he's it. cool. What? Huh? I don't know if he wants to go back or. Oh my goodness! Come on. He's what? a cutie. What? <laughs> what? You gonna talk for us? Huh? You gonna talk? What? <laughs> huh? Huh? It's cool. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> He's biting me. <laughs> he, just, he just nibbles, but his nibbles aren't aren't like a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, buddy? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> That's cool. what? Huh? <laughs> It's a good one. This is my little my little doggy. This is my my chihuahua. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, he's an awesome little little animal. JD called me in the middle of the night. It's like two o'clock in the morning. They said, "Hey, we caught something for you." And I've been wanting a, a blacktail for quite a while, right? Mm -hmm. So this is not exactly what I wanted. I wanted a, a Texas blacktail because they're, you know, they're beautiful silver and black snakes. So this is the Arizona blacktail, and they said he is super gentle. We picked him up and, and just put him right in the in the box, and I mean, it just so it's forty something degrees, mm -hmm. right? So they bring him here. And didn't you, didn't have heater or something in the car? Um, maybe was, we had been in here for a few minutes or something. He, what, he was what, cool. Whatever it was, it was, he was cool. Yeah. So I take him out, you know, and of course I use hooks and tongs and, and everything was cool. 
the next day after he heated up to about 85 degrees oh my goodness this is the devil <laughs> he will spit venom at you you have to be very careful pulling him out you know face shield is probably necessary and you know because he will spit at you but so funny. when when i go to pull him out everybody goes outside nobody wants to be in the house with me <laughs> So, he's a cutie. What are you talking about? Oh, he's a that. cutie, all right. So now we're in Earl's snake room, and uh, he has a bunch of snakes, a bunch of babies here, and some adults, and a couple of other odds and ends, not just ball pythons. But so you were just showing us some gold blush stuff. I didn't realize gold blush and Mojave are two separate genes. So you just are trying to. Okay, so Brian boom. Gundy, uh, about ten years ago, come up with the what he called the blushing Mojave, mm. and Blushing Mojave is, in time, it, it gets real nice gold blushes to it. So, in time, he called it the gold blush. Well, so, originally, somebody took his morph, put it on the World of Ball Pythons, and they called it the uh, gold blush Mojave. Mm -hmm. So, you had the Mojave and the gold blush Mojave. Well, since then, he has actually isolated that gene, and this is the pure gold blush. You guys so, be in the video. Don't be so afraid. This is the only pure gold, <laughs> gold blush that he had ever let loose. Yeah. And the pure gold blush has the dots on the nose. That's where he finally isolated this uh, about five years ago. And it kind of looks blade like in, in a sense, just as clean as it is. Um, you know, I've done a few gold blush animals with this. And I'm gonna show you what I've bred to get some of the pets that I just made. But this is a gold blush crystal. And this thing is just gorgeous. So this was a gift to my wife one year for Christmas from Brian Gundy. And he's been sitting in my collection for, I don't know, three or four years. And I just had no desire to do anything with it until I saw a special pie. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, you know what? I gotta have that. So let's add the gold blush to it. Mm -hmm. So this year we did a pair into a pied and this is the gold blush mojave you can see the goldish color to it yeah yeah the the real nice gold blushing coming up and it's a far cry from a normal mojave oh absolutely uh we this is this is what i saw when i remember gold blush mojaves is that that's real what I gold saw. color yeah and i was like oh it's a mojave but it just looks awesome like line bread for sir right you know to look awesome now and, unfortunately uh, when you make the Mojaves, you don't get those dots on the end of the nose. Mm -hmm. But the colors coming in, the, yeah, the, the pattern's the, ridiculous. It's kind of got the mountains coming up on the bottom. I just really, really beautiful animal. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't the best thing we could have made. The gold blush special is where it's at. So you get all that gold blushing coming in. Mm -hmm. And we made. Look at that head stamp. Oh, that head stamp's crazy. It's pretty cool. All right, so look at the difference in the gold blush versus the non-gold blush. Oh, yeah. How intense the color is. The blushing is not near as intense as this. Mm -hmm. uh, you still get a pretty cool head stamp, but this one's more in right. intensified. Yeah. So really, really cool animals. Yeah, the contrast is ridiculously different. The mahogany stuff is really starting to blow up. Yeah. And. I've been working with mahogany for quite a while. It's just a mahogany clown there. Yeah. Uh, but these things are just so beautiful and there's so so much you can do with this gene. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and hold that one and then we'll go to a mahogany pastel clown. And just look at how crazy just putting pastel is. Yep. I mean, it's just intense. So. That's cool. We haven't gone any farther with this, but we've got, you know, some plans for this in the next couple of years. Both of these are males, uh, and we're going to put acid into that. That's cool. Uh, I'm going into my dark wonder to see if we can make it even darker. Kind of stuff you got going with Ultramel. All right, so this is uh, the CA Ultramel. Are you about me? <laughs> this is the CA's Ultramel. Okay. And this is the only one I have. So this will be going to Pied, Clown, everything recessive. I love Ultramels. Ultramel pods are just crazy. We have JD and you guys already saw earlier on uh, our videos that um, Deadly Tarantula Girls here is her husband. So they're looking at a banana clown, right? Yeah. So 
I want to show that off just because I think Banana Clown's awesome looking. Um, this thing is pretty crazy too. So why don't you guys take a look at that? Banana Clowns are beautiful anyway. Yeah, and that's a great example. It's so orange. JD bought this right out of the egg and <laughs> lucky him. <laughs> so when I, this is the blade banana clown. Okay. And the blade is just crazy. This wipes out all the side pattern. And then of course you get the little dots behind the head. Typical blade stuff. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know we had blade in the banana project at that time until I popped this out. So this I pulled out, he was pulling out earlier. This is a banana lemon blast clown. So banana pastel pinstripe clown. And man. That's I'm gonna say something. At like at like three feet away it looked like a pure yellow snake. Okay, but this one is a and pure then, yellow snake. This, <laughs> this is a one. inchy lemon blast clown. Yeah. This has so no banana cool, in right? it. And you can oh. faintly see the dots in it, you know, for the clown, but yeah, I, so wanted hold to, down. I, I wanted to uh, work up to this one because this is the other one that we saw and I'm like... So that's a crazy, crazy difference between a Lemon Blast Clown to an Inchy Lemon Blast Clown. Man. The uh, That should have been called a banana. <laughs> that is a banana right there. This is, yeah, this is nutty. This is awesome. This is probably one of my favorite snakes here. I love I've that seen a lot of the things but this one's cool okay you like the yellow stuff ah, i like that. all different sorts of stuff how about that an albino clown banana lesser clown? lesser leopard albino lesser leopard albino look at the stripes not what thing. i thought that was and it has orange eyes instead of pink eyes all my lesser leopards have gray eyes and i was able to change the eyes to orange instead of pink hmm. that's cool all right so the Dark Wonder Gene is something that we brought over from the UK uh, about five, six years ago, and I was not real interested in the dark stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to let it go to waste, so I started playing with it, and I was been really. It's been really cool because this is a Het Dark Wonder, and okay, you look at that, turn it a little bit, and you can see all the different colors coming in, and that's oh, just the on a head. That's just on a head. Every single one of the heads are like that. Hmm. All right, so it doesn't matter what I it put it with. It has a sheen. It has a real kind of sheen to it, and then it just it's, really it's like an oil slick on it. Yeah. Oh, look so, at that belly too. And the That's belly real dirty. That's crazy. The bellies are going to be dirty. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see on the on the visual, it gets really really dirty. Mm -hmm. All right. So okay. that's a normal. Then this is a Mojave. And again, you can see the, the sheen on it mm -hmm. and the color change, especially in that head. Oh, that head is real dark. But, you know, you get that rainbow effect in and the light. this is still a head? This is a head. Okay. Back here, this is a visual dark wonder. Huh. And they are dark. Would you look at that? So look at the color change in that. Wow. I mean, it's crazy. All right, so we were talking about the bellies earlier. Look at that belly. That thing is cool. Wow, it's like marbled. Yep. That's interesting. So imagine... The iridescence on it is... I, I'm trying to figure out why it would do that. Imagine this... <laughs> this is like... It in, really is. Imagine this in a pied. If we can make a solid black and white pied with that iridescence. You know... I mean, if that happens, I've already got a name for it. <laughs> um, but we, we are trying to prove this out in albino this year. Mm -hmm. I've got one here and one over there, double heads. And then I've got mm -hmm. several of the, the normals you were looking at earlier are the, the double heads. But yeah, look at how green and purple. And yeah. So you letting go any of uh Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to take up a ton of your time. I mean, this is great. Uh, we saw a bunch of stuff we were in your house looking at your venomous you know you have some really fun animals that right in your room like in your house it's like did you get to play with the heel monster i pet it we pet it i mean i was there <laughs> i didn't play with it 
<laughs> I, I'm sure I would end up like uh, Shane from Small Town Exotics, just like pouring blood, you know. Yeah, you know. But <laughs> hey, so <laughs> there, there's no, no pain, no game, right? That's right. That's there right. You go. So thank you so much for having us Absolutely. over. Absolutely. Yeah. If you guys aren't following him, make sure you follow him. He's on YouTube. You have Instagram and all that. So we'll put his links in the description below. And uh, thank you guys so much. Hit that like button, the subscribe, and the notification bell so you know when we're posting things. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. Nope, not all right, guys. See you guys every time. <laughs> I would just roll all of it because you don't know what he's going to do. Oh, I know it. Oh, I know it. All right. Thank you. <laughs>